of the breakfast, President Muhammad Buhari charges the National Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies to surpass the best think tanks, policy institutes in the world. Also on the breakfast, INET to meet with the Nigerian Communication Commission to discuss identify blind spot in transmission of the 2023 result. Don't forget, we'll also be going through today's newspaper headlines and now analyzing the biggest stories of the day on the breakfast. And we're back with the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's a beautiful uh, wet Tuesday morning, reaching live from our studios right here on Victoria Island, Lagos. My name is Kofi Bartels. Welcome. And I am Messi Bopo. It's good to have you join us this beautiful Tuesday morning. All right, uh, we'll start off with a top trending segment before we go to our major conversation this morning. Of course, as we said, the paper review in between. Uh, Mercy, I want you to help me pronounce the word J A P A. I'm sure you know the, the word. Jack How do you pronounce the word J A P A? Jackpa. Yeah? Jackpa. It's not Jackpa. Jackpa. Anyhow, Jackpa. I want to call it. Okay, is Jackpa a Yoruba word? Um, it's become synonymous with uh, the. Uh, the traveling abroad, the relocation of Nigerians because of uh, the economic situation, political situation in the country, either of the two or the two together. Um, I hear it's a Yoruba word that means run. You know that, that social media, I think TikTok or is it Instagram video where somebody will just come and then there's someone will be singing their voice, you hear a voice saying, run, and then people start running. Oh, okay, you know, yeah. So, so um, uh, if, if anyone wants to leave the country, say I'm done with country at the airport to take a selfie, they say they are jack buying. They are jack buying. <laughs> yeah, we can ask you. So, so, but uh, this this is trending because the video uh, can't quite tell when it was shot. But as a uh, we told the f f French ambassador to Nigeria wanted to know the meaning of jackpa, and he got a brilliant answer. So we'll just play that. Uh, I'd like to hear the lady pronounce the word herself. Quite interesting. Let's go. You know, it, it seemed like he was just trying to give a diplomatic um, uh, coloration, diplomatic meaning uh, to the word um, Jakba. Um, he said we want to take our skills, our abilities, uh, this, uh, that, and export it to the world. You know, I'm sure since he's talking to uh, a foreigner, uh, the French ambassador, a white woman, who we call Oibo, Oibo in this part of the world, maybe... He's giving her <clears throat> all looks, you know, package, the package, let's call it a package uh, definition. But the people, they were laughing because they know that it's, <laughs> it's not just exporting our skills to the world. People are packing their ngongo, their loads, right? No, but, and are but, running but, but, away. <laughs> but if you look at it, uh, so yesterday when I went through, you know, the comments and all of that, 
really interesting and some people were worried about the fact that oh how would he i don't know if you saw that some people were worried about how the fact that the young man was 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 a joke you know why, why would he be making a, a joke out of a serious question that the lady asked and if you look at the lady she was smiling when she asked the question i mean the french ambassador she was all laughing it's even possible that she knows what it means but maybe you know she wanted some kind of humor around it mm. and i'm sure that the young man never expected that kind of question so it was really good. One would want to say that that young man should be an ambassador, you know, of Nigeria, trying to put out the story there, not necessarily painting a bad light of the country or putting us in a bad light or you know, putting out the story entirely there, but which is also not wrong. I mean, if you look at most of the persons who are leaving the country, they are skilled, you know, they have all it takes, they are resilient, talented Nigerians leaving the country, most of them. And uh, so, I, I think that he, he took him by surprise, so it was quite uh, a lot of creativity to come out, put out all of that thoughts, and then try to convince her. I like the fact that he actually saw Nigeria in a good light, you know, in all of that. Not because, I mean, you, we understand what it is, but it's also not uh, away from the reality. He's, he's such, you know, a delight to look at, if you ask me. Uh, Ab so absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it's not every time you... Um, you know, you complain. You know, you speak ill of the country. You sometimes you have to you have to be in in such forum. You know, while you you say it as it is, but you also look for a diplomatic way to put things because you know you don't want to be uh, spoiling the mood. And I think his outlook, you know, it's a bit of sarcasm there, you know. But I'm sure that uh, everybody gets the point. You know, everybody gets the point. It's just like. Uh, 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 the president of Kenya, William Ruto, in an interview that's been trending on social online, on YouTube in particular, where he, he sat with uh, uh, Christina Mampo, CNN, and was asked about uh, uh, same-sex you know, marriages and relationships and rights in, in Kenya, and he answered it diplomatically. You know, he was basically saying, no, we, can, we won't have that in Kenya, but he, 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 he used diplomacy, tact, and uh, uh, diplomacy to answer that. So I think he said it. He said it all. Nobody can fault this, this gentleman. Uh, I mean, he brought humor to the entire thing. He even deserves an award for how he kept his cool, he kept his composure, and was able to, to do justice to the question that he wasn't prepared for. Um, let's move on to the next one very quickly. Uh, this is a, a class presentation gone wrong um, at the at De Kunle Ajasi University, um, where Akoko, where a lecturer and uh, his students had to had to run for their life. This is something that you can only see maybe in movies. Um, we had terrorists pulled up for lectures in Ondo State. My God. Let's go to that. So we, we have to really point out this is user generated content to first uh, video of course quality was low. I uh, we'll apologize for that, but it's user-generated content, and that's why. Uh, the second one as well, of course, you had music background, user-generated content, uh, and that's why. But, uh, you know, we, we, we have to avoid speculation uh, that may lead to misinformation. But what we're putting out is the uh, what the people who were there, they shared on their statuses and all that. You know, they felt that the person who you see was a terrorist. In the camouflage with a bandage uh, around his, uh, his face uh, was a terrorist. Kind of reminds me of Kanye West, you know, how he covers his face, you know, <laughs> uh, was a terrorist. Um, this, is, this is Ondo State. I don't know if there's banditry or terrorism in Ondo State. Uh, I think we had some attacks. Uh, you remember those attacks in Owo? Always in Ondo State. Yes. So I do not know if, if that is uh, he's part of them. You know, but uh, someone said, so this is what happened. Yeah, we have political science presentation and the group was to present on terrorism. They decided to do their presentation at a different way. Look, uh, like to portray the whole terrorism thing, 
now uh, some guys came in from the back with uniform and guns and scarves around their neck acting like terrorists which was uh, unknown to everyone or more people ran out uh, got injured someone fainted me safe i ran under the chair started shouting blood of jesus my mind went straight up uh, to the old stuff uh, class don't scatter shower because some people phones got spoiled in the process escaping and some got injured um i mean so so you can look at that uh, probably the lecture was was trying to have some uh the practicals you want to call it that um but but this is the situation here like i said on those state messages had uh, its own fair share of uh, you know um, uh, terrorist incidents in in recent times I'm not even surprised that, you know, that's from the uh, Department of Political Science. <laughs> it should have been from... <laughs> it should even be theater arts, maybe. No, no, but, but I'm not even, surprised. I'm not even that. surprised that, you know, it's the Department of Political Science that's putting out that stunt across the country. Uh, a lot of people, students, would want to agree that this department is extra. But uh, you, would you blame the people? I mean, ask yourself if you were in that situation. And if you know that, you know, the current situation that we're in and the things that are happening, you would take off. So, now, recently, yeah. uh, University of Calabar, I think that was Unical. I'm not sure if it was Unical or Crutech, one of them. Is it an initiation? No, it wasn't an initiation. Fresh no, students. no, it wasn't. So Where was attacked. there were reports. No, I, I don't know why that didn't make, uh, you know, it, it didn't really have, you know, the media presence as it should. But there was a video that went viral. This was not a joke. This was not a prank of um, unknown gunmen who stormed the school and people were just running, held to skelter. People were just so. I mean, we, we live we live in you know difficult times. You know, you know, you know, know Unica say. has had its own fair share of. Uh, they come in from the Calabar River. Uh -huh, those bad guys. So we, <laughs> we live in difficult times, and and that's uh, what it is. And trust me. You and I went to the same university. Mercy. Ask university yourself. Mercy don't be able to what are we know. going back to? Talking about yeah, the alma yeah, mater. But, I, I, but I left it imagine that you were in that school. Me, I would take off. There's no joke about it. Everybody would want to run because we see the news, we, we hear the story, and you you want to imagine, especially, but it was an act. And even also with the fact that these days you have a lot of skate makers making skate, and uh, you, don't, you don't want to you know, take that for you granted. Know. But it also shows that there's a lacuna. We need to up up security. We need to beef it up. You, I don't know if you understand. Yeah. So I, I don't know at what point, if, if, if when these guys came into the school, they came in like that, or it was when they went you know, to the classroom or somewhere and then they got changed and, and what have you. Because this can, these things can actually happen. I, I, I don't know if you understand. So we can also take out the fact that we need to beef up security yeah. across you know, different institutions, our schools, uh, what have you. Because... I looked at that video. I remember the video that made it. Uh, it was a certain university. I think it was Crutech. I'm still trying to remember if it was Crutech or Unical. All Security right. is a major issue. It's, yes, it's it a big is. one. You know, you know, you know. Uh, some, some. The, the video that had the music, you know, that we had. You could see the inscription on the screen, where uh, the the person said, uh, uh, "Presentation gone wrong. You know, lecture gone wrong. You know. Uh, uh, so, 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 so." People have lost their phones. People have lost their. I've got an injured. Uh, for this gentleman, what if you had a an agent, a Secret Service agent, SSS, in the audience who was in the, in the, in the audience was part of the the class, but he was there with his uh, piece. He had some a piece on I him. I think he would pull the trigger. I mean, what if he said, "Oh God, this is uh, uh, all, all over again," and he brings it out. Maybe maybe the, the school have said, okay, you know, just be around just to protect the, the institution, you know. And then maybe he just brings it out. Bah, bah. You know, who, who will, we, will we blame? No, but that... So, so but, but it, it's very important for, for, for in this time, we, country we live in, uh, for institutions to always give warnings when they have things like that. You know, when the military are having their shooting, you know, the uh, military shooting range, it may be quite a distance from the city center. Have you been around? Have you witnessed? But even no matter how far it is, you know, even they have fence and, you know, perimeter fence and everything, they will still tell the public, oh, we're going to be having a shooting exercise, you know, training routine, blah, blah, blah. From this day at this time, uh, you know, please don't panic. Go about your lawful activity. So I think, I think it, um, a warning, some sort of... Uh, warning should have been given to the students so that no one would lose their lives. People's phones have gotten destroyed in this economy. 
people have gotten injured in this economy, which house will they go to? How much will they pay to treat themselves? Uh, I, I love I love invention. I love creativity in teaching. I love it. But, uh, you know, you need to have certain precautions. So we don't endanger the lives of the people who are the actors and those who are the students. Very valid. Very yeah. valid uh, points that you have actually All raised. Right. But it, it actually would appear more like, you know, a skit if you ask me. Yeah, yeah. But well, let's move on to the last one. Um, I mean, the, the, the kidnap industry, you want to call it that, in this country has been... Uh, a big one. I mean, you look at those in, in, in the terrorism, uh, so I call it sector. <laughs> uh, those engaged in terrorism and banditry have resorted to kidnapping, you know, to to further their activities. And in fact, they, I'm sure they've left the terrorism and the you know religious aspect of it. I mean, if it's political aspect of it, and they're now focusing basically on on kidnapping. You know, um, down south we've had a kidnapping epidemic for some years which has been uh, surpassed and eclipsed by what's happening in the northern part of the country. So it's a big issue. Well, the latest is that uh, suspended, suspected gunmen uh, on Sunday kidnapped the uh, Commissioner for Housing and Urban Development in Benue State. Uh, a very fine young man, uh, Chief Ekpe Ogbu, uh, really sad. Uh, he wasn't kidnapped alone. Three others were kidnapped along, along with him. Uh, still been signed by the Social Democratic Party candidate for the House of Assembly seat in Ado, Ado State constituency, uh, Oriri Ocheje Richard said that Ogbu was kidnapped alongside uh, Honorable Agbo Ode, uh, one of his in laws and his driver. I know some of this name sounds like crossover names because they're, they're the share border uh, across the state. It's really sad. Uh, it's really sad. I just hope that the man will be released unhurt uh, to his uh, family. Now, according to the statement, um, uh, he was, or they, were kidnapped along David Mark's farm. I'm sure that's a road, you know, after Akpa Otobi, while on their way from Otupo uh, to Utonkon in uh, Ado local government of Benue State. It's really sad one. And it, it just reminds me of the conversation I had with uh, Nika Gule yesterday, off air, just before, you know, we got on the show. And then he was asking if I've ever been to Benue. And I, I mentioned vividly that I'd been to Benue, to be precise, Otupo. And trust me, Getting to Tupo wasn't even a joke. It was, you know, really. Late. That's because you travelled from Kalaba. No, no, no. S seriously, no. That's apart apart you from that, from yeah. apart from that, <laughs> getting to Tupo, <laughs> you you don't want to even hear the stories about Tupo at the time. It was scary. Oh, the really? car that we drove in was 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 you know a very um, how do I even put it highly secured car. It was it was it was portable. Was, it, was it bulletproof? Let's not even get into all of yeah. that. But the Mark fact that, you know, first star. of all, the first curve that we got was that people stopped. Security persons actually stopped. But of course, in all of the interaction, you could notice that these guys were up to something very crazy. And just approaching Ben with stuff, there was a lot of scare. You have to be careful. We need to, we had to break the journey, you know, in Boko. Oh. What year was this? So the next, has previously I don't, I don't been remember. a very nice I, place I don't to visit. Remember. I, have, but, but the thing, I have pleasurable memories of Benue State. So. No, so I don't remember. It was so, so the thing is, the journey was actually, we had to cut the journey into two. So first, we did a stop at uh, Boko. So we had to sleep at Boko. And even in the hotel that we checked into, there was a lot of warning that you have to be careful. So it was like, we're even scared was to this, even Was this it. recently, maybe? No, it's not quite up recent. Up to 10 years ago? Sorry. No, it's my, not up to 10 years. My, my, so to okay, be very honest, right, it's not up to 10 my, my memories of Benway have been is, really uh, pleasurable. My point here is yeah. this. Not necessarily to castigate uh, Benway State or any We're saying it's state, unsafe, But probably. I'm just saying that generally, security is a, a major issue for our country, Nigeria. But I, 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 it seems you're saying, you know, that Benue State is, un, is unsafe from what you experienced. No, no, from that time. Probably do you, do you know how long a, it is? It's not up to 10 years. The, the thing is, it's not up to 10 years. It's not up to 10 years, but um, it was really scary at the time. I mean, that was my first experience. All right. You don't want to say so. I, but I, we, I've, we I've, I've to had win. very pleasurable experiences of Benue State as the breadbasket of, of Nigeria. So my point Please, is, when I say pleasurable, don't misunderstand me. It means that no, that's we fine. had it, a it, it didn't mean that it wasn't it wasn't you know, it wasn't pleasurable. My it's know. just a coincidence that we're talking about Otupo, we're talking about Benway. And then yesterday, uh, Nika Gule, who was in Benway State, was also asking, Have I been there? And then you, we talked mm, of mm. the year uh, before okay. and all of that, and so it's coming. That's why okay. I'm talking so about. So he also it. had the same but view that it was uh, probably it have security challenges there. Yeah, they have very, security very challenges, serious. which I think yeah, in, in, rec in recent time, indeed, indeed, look at the uh, the Attacks and head of a crisis, you know, 
Yeah, in recent times. I, 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 definitely mercy. But you have to tell me what you went to Benue to, no, to it do. No, it was we'll it was We'll talk about that. No, 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 no. Don't say it on there. We'll talk about See, it so later. So my okay. point is we, this, We Kofi, have to go. Yeah. Like we we'll always mm. say that security is very important. And if you look yeah. at the constitution, the reason government actually exists yeah. is that, you know, government will pro protect lives and property. I have to mercy. And we, that's, we, and that's, we, have, we have to run because of time. And that's on top of the list. And so we cannot, you know, neglect that. Government at all quarters should pay attention to the issue of security. All right, all right. Thank you. Being prompted to quick move quickly, our uh, guest uh, for the paper reviews of standby. I'll be right back.